morning, Detroiters will have a new store to go to get all their grocery shopping done. After decades of servicing Motor City restaurants, Gordon's is opening its first brick and mortar store in the D. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is live downtown. And Naya, what can you tell us about today's big grand opening? Well, I can tell you this is going to mean a lot for people who live in the downtown Detroit area, especially here on East Jefferson. Uh, really a nice area, McDougal. I want to show you what it looks like right here because it's very beautiful. This actually used to be a Staples uh, and it's right next to a dollar store. Nice size parking lot, uh, but I want to let you know what this thing is going to look like inside. So according to Cranes, this is going to be about 6,000 square feet over here on Jefferson Avenue. It'll feature fresh seasonal produce, fresh meat, chicken tenders, rotisseries. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry, um, <laughs> but definitely it's going to feature a lot of different types of food. And of course, they're fresh squeezed orange juice and baked goods, of course. Now, the store's accessible floor plan um, will go ahead and have different types of things for not only um, people who are just shopping for home, but people who are also shopping for business. So uh, whether it's business or home you're shopping for, you'll be able to do it here without a membership fee. Now, this will be a Gordon Food Service store, their first store in downtown Detroit. However, they have played a big role um, with restaurants in downtown Detroit by providing uh, food to them. But this is going to be the first time they will have an actual store here in downtown Detroit. Something definitely big to think about. Now, their grand opening is this morning at 7 o'clock. And of course, we're expecting to be here for that going to be an exciting time and like I said I'm pretty hungry now after talking about all that food so I might get a little something to eat. Naya Hart, 7 Action News. Good deal. Thank you very much for that live update, Naya. Yeah, certainly great news for people who live in Detroit. Thank you, Naya.